There are more than 250 million vehicles on the road equipped with electronic throttle bodies, or ETBs, and they're now included in 95% of new vehicles. But in some vehicles, these components have a relatively high failure rate. This is mostly because of issues within the gear train, a critical component of the ETB. The gear teeth tend to wear out prematurely because the gears must run for tens of thousands of miles without any lubricant. The impact on your customer can be significant. Problems with ETBs can lead to acceleration problems, decreased fuel mileage, and even stalling. Original equipment parts, while seemingly a safe bet, can be problematic. Many OE parts have high failure rates, particularly in popular applications like Chrysler's 2.0 and 2.4 liter engines. That's where Standard's electronic throttle bodies come in. Standard has engineered its ETBs to address the common failures seen in OE parts. For the Chrysler 2 and 2.4 liter engines, for example, Standard's engineers identified the problem as being rooted in the mechanical gear train. Standard made a number of key improvements to enhance performance and longevity. Standard increased the face width of the gear, which helps distribute the load more evenly and reduces stress on the gear teeth. Second, Standard updated the geometry of the gear teeth, making them thicker and stronger. Third, Standard gears are made from a high-strength, heat-resistant material to ensure durability. This particular ETB is manufactured at Standard's ISO facility in North America. It includes the gasket needed for a correct replacement. Plus, each unit is calibrated and end-of-line tested for voltage output before it reaches you. Standard offers more than 240 ETBs, available with coverage for more than 200 million vehicles on the road today. In addition to the ETBs, Standard carries a full line of components needed to repair the electronic throttle control system, including throttle position sensors, accelerator pedal sensors, variable intake manifold actuators, and ETB connectors. Finally, it is essential to carry out a relearn procedure whenever a new ETB is installed. Modern vehicle computers are designed to adjust for wear and carbon buildup on the ETB, so when a new one is fitted, the system must relearn the new ETB's operating parameters. Thanks for watching.